Hi, Alex here from Reveloper.com and welcome to ASD App Store Domination and today we are going to finally send our build for testing. So without further ado, let's get to work. In the previous episode, I have talked about how you can upload your first build for iTunes Connect. So we may add it to our first version and we are preparing it for submission. Today, we are going to use this build and submit it to uh, other test users with the help of TestWhite. As you can see here, it is TestWhite. Let's go ahead and click into that and let's take a look at how this works. Well, first of all, it says missing compliance. So let's tap on that and let's provide export compliance information. Does your app use encryption? No. Okay. And let's start internal testing. And that is basically it. You are ready to start internal testing. Now, internal testers can um, be added uh, uh, let's go uh, to apps and users and roles but today we are going to talk about how to add external users so you don't need to add those items connect privileges so we are going to add an external user we are going to call this externals as a group let's click on create and, and done okay and now we are going to add some testers and add new testers and i will just type in here let's say i will just create another tester for my other uh, uh, email okay we are done we have added our first tester and now we need to go back to our well let's select our builds uh, let's add a new build here and as you can see here we have our ready to submit build that we have just created and let's click on next and now we need to add a feedback email and that is this is where uh, your users will uh, give you a support rebeloper I just missed an E here uh, contact information and I will just skip this well I will just blur this out of course uh, next up sign-in information well our app doesn't need any signing in maybe you will add maybe Facebook authentication or Firebase authentication that is uh, well <laughs> really really well explained inside the tribe but for now we are going to uh, uncheck signing required and click on next and well testing information because a red background is all we got in this test uh, build and now we just submit for review and once the App, uh, app store review team reviews it uh, of course we have set automatically notified testers our testers will be automatically notified okay and that is it i believe we should have an email soon when uh, we have our build available for testing of course you need to download the test flight app let me just go there uh, so you may see it is a test flight app that you need to download on your device well your testers need to download it maybe you just want to test it out for yourself but hey you can test it inside xcode so uh, let's go back here and this is all you need to do uh, inside the test flight tab uh, for you to enable your app for others to test of course you need to uh, create more previous stuff like create an app icon and upload to items connect when you build but that is inside the other lesson so go ahead and take a look at them if you are just jumping right into this lesson which well i don't 
know why, but uh, maybe this is your first video. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and create your first test flight um, build. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. Good stuff. Now, if you want to see more of this video and want to boost your app business, go ahead and take a look at my 30 days challenge, App Store Domination. Go ahead and click the link down below and I will see you inside ASD, App Store Domination. Let's get to work.